Mental health is a massive issue in today's society, especially in today's youth. And recently, there's been an increase in people raising awareness for it, especially in my local area with people like Sam Fender. And I've actually also just done a music video for one of my mates who's known as Scapegoat Avarice. And this video and song deals a lot with mental health. But I've realized when doing this, that I've never actually talked about mental health before in a video, which is kind of stupid because it's so important and it's something that really needs to be addressed. And if this video can help one person, then it's done its job. Essentially, this kind of just dawned on me the other day, but I realized growing up, there's a lack of education surrounding mental health and there's no checkups either. There's a lot more attention with your physical health like for example, you'll probably visit the dentist at least once a year, half a year for me. And I know the concept that like the whole concept of mental health is fairly new and that we didn't just we just didn't have the technology in the past to sort of discover all the things that we now know. But something needs to be actively done with all the information and research that we now know to, to sort of help people with their mental health, like checkups. The harsh reality is most everyday physical illnesses like a bug or a throat infection might only last as little as a few days, but mental illnesses could last years. Reason why? Physical illnesses are exposed. Mental illnesses are hidden away. It's up to you to make them known. And to do that, firstly you need to be educated about mental illnesses to figure out whether you have one. And then if you do think you have one, you need to build up the courage to seek help and advice. Nowadays, we live in a world that is so regulated. People avoid talking about issues because we're afraid of what other people will think or if it may cause offence to someone. All you have to do is spend a few minutes looking down your newsfeed on social media, which people do in excessive amounts. I mean, look at this article, for example. Viewers accuse Deck of casual homophobia after last night's I'm a Celebrity. And then if you look at the comments for this, top one is, Remember the good old days when people thought things were funny, not offensive. I miss those days. And then the second one, fucking hate the world we live in. Now this is just one of the many things that's came up on my newsfeed in the past few weeks that I've thought, it's just unnecessary. It just is unnecessary. And whether that is done for publicity and attention or not, a lot of people are still seeing these articles and over time, that is going to make them think, hmm, should I actually be a bit more careful with what I'm saying? Things never used to be like this. What happened to the old saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Like, that is literally something you used to tell kids. And I'll tell you what, it needs to be told to adults as well. People are too afraid to speak the truth nowadays, and they're too offended over something someone else says. And this leads people to just keep things to themselves and make others work it out for themselves. The problem is, we're humans, we're not mind readers, we can't tell what's actually going on in your head, even if you make it very clear with body language and actions. I believe that avoiding things, not talking about things and not giving people a straight answer are one of the biggest causes of mental health because it causes uncertainty and uncertainty is never a good thing. It encourages overthinking. And in fact, I would go as far as saying it possibly is the, me the main cause of so many mental illnesses. You might feel anxious or weak talking about an issue that you have, or it may even offend someone else if it involves them. But in my opinion, having your feelings hurt for a few hours or days at max is a lot better than the confusion, hopelessness, and frustration of never knowing and never speaking the truth. I've heard a lot of stories about when people have just suddenly been ignored by someone and left out with no reason as to why. And I can tell you for a fact that leaving someone in the dark is a lot worse and puts a lot more mental strain on them than just saying, sorry, I don't want to talk to you anymore because such and such has happened and I just feel like this is for the best. Obviously this will still cause pain, but for someone with anxiety or depression, it's a lot better than laying in bed every night, replaying every conversation over and over and over again, trying to work out where you went wrong. And the more that people don't tell you stuff, the more that you have to work it out for yourself. And then in turn, you're less likely to talk about your issue with someone else. It's a downward spiral. 
We live in a very, very regulated world. And because of this, you watch what you say and you watch your personal image as well, which causes a lot of people to be very insecure about themselves, especially if you aren't hitting your targets in life, which usually comes down to money. As well as living in a very regulated world, we also live in a world which is primarily focused on financial gain. You spend years of your life going through school, college, university to make money. And during this time, we have every opportunity and pathway available to us because we live in a world where everything is accessible. But at the same time, it's a complete opposite because every person is doing and aiming for the exact same thing. There's so much competition that there's barely any gaps in the market, barely any things which haven't already been done, and most importantly, barely any jobs. Going back to what I started this segment with, if you don't achieve these targets in life, you start to become very insecure about yourself and start to lose self-worth. And this is another major cause for mental illness. Now, this is where I'm gonna mention four idiots. And honestly, it's not because I'm trying to advertise it, it's generally because it is relevant to this. My web series, Four Idiots, apart from being a fun, uplifting show that gives people a laugh, essentially comes down to being yourself and not letting anyone dictate that. We all look stupid at times, we all fail, but the main point is we learn from our mistakes. Obsession over personal image can often make these things hard to do and hard to accept. But with Four Idiots, we want to inspire people to see this as being natural. You aren't always going to look your best and you aren't always going to succeed. Another thing that Four Idiots consists of is doing things that are outside of your comfort zone. Like how I used to do public pranks. I'll be honest, I really struggled to get myself to do them because they were out of my comfort zone. And this is probably why I stopped doing them, to be honest. But I have heard a lot of prank YouTubers actually comment on the outcomes of doing public pranks, saying that it's helped them to be less anxious and awkward around people. And I actually did get anxious about talking to random people, like if I was in a pub and I wanted to go for a drink. I used to get anxious about going up to the bar and speaking to a random person who I didn't know. But thanks to the types of videos I've done and the type of work that I'm in, over the years I now have a lot more confidence. Like if I'm doing a wedding video, I have the confidence to literally just walk into someone's house who I don't know and I've never met, introduce myself and then film them doing their makeup because I've done and I'm continuing to do things that are outside of my comfort zone. Now I'm not saying for one minute that everyone needs to go and grab a horse mask and start running around filming public pranks like what I used to do, but doing things that are out of your comfort zone really help you to become more confident and less anxious. This in turn then helps with talking to people about serious issues, speaking the truth and not keeping things to yourself. It'll also keep you busy and with mental health, you need to be occupied. When you aren't, that's when you have the time to sit and think about things that will make you feel down. So I really hope that this video has been helpful and has maybe made you think about things in a different way. If you do agree with this, especially the earlier part where I mentioned trying to educate people about mental health and having mental health checkups, then let's make it heard by more people and try to inspire change. So please share this video and also check out the music video that I've done for Scapegoat Avarice. I'll link it in the description uh, as well as Sam Fender. I'll link him in as well because I do think he's great. His music is great. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.